Hey everybody, Chris here at U-Joint. Putting the final wraps on the uh, van we've been calling Texas Big Boy. Call it a big boy because eight inch on 37s. And it's a pretty extensive project, so I'm gonna go over all the details now. If you follow us on social media, you've seen me posting pictures of this um, through various stages of the build. Uh, it got here last summer, um, about the same time as another big project, that big gray van that we just finished a month or two ago. So uh, it was a little bit of a curveball, especially when we're dealing with paint and body work. Um, and then we had a few COVID delays, but either way, got it done. It's beautiful. And I think the uh, owner is going to be happy with it. So uh, it's a 2007 E350 six liter diesel extended body. Um, we did the front clip swap while it was at the body shop. The paint is from a Hummer H2. I think they call it some sort of sand color, but it looks more green to me. Either way, it's a really pretty color and um, nothing we've done before on any of the E-Series and little few things on this rig are a little out of the ordinary that um, that I like, including keeping the chrome grill and the polished wheels, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, it does have our eight inch lift on 37 inch Toyo mud terrains. The wheels are from our good buddies at Innovate Racing. These, in my opinion, are the, the best, sexiest wheels on the market. They're 17 by eight and a half forged and machined here in the US. Did, he went with the Fox dual shock upgrade. As you can see, we cut the whole bucket off and then we weld our shock mount on it. Well, you can't really see because the track bar bracket's in the way. Uh, full eight inch lift front and rear, stage two front axle, 456 gears with the uh, true track and the RSC upgrade. This van did not require the RSC upgrade, but we did it anyway to get the hardware. So it's got the big 14 and a half inch diameter rotors, serviceable wheel bearings, 35 spine stub shafts, all those parts that we sourced from our buddies at Dynatrack. Uh, front bumper is our in-house made front bumper, all aluminum. Got some rigid lights in there. Got the Q-Series up top. I think they look really good. They match the grill. Got a worn VR12S winch with our Agency 6 Fairlead, Factor 55 thimble. Then you've got the worn Anderson plug and the front OBA port and a front receiver. Turned out nice, gave it a pretty cool look. Flares, front and rear from Bushwhacker. Just some simple car hoop steps. Uh, we really went to town on the undercarriage of this thing. We um, completely cleaned the frame and the underside of the body and um, cl uh, cleaned, primered, and painted the frame and then undercoated the body. <clears throat> we use a uh, dupla color. It's actually a truck bed liner. It's a spray-in bed liner. It comes in a can, has a really nice fine finish. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little detail is the, the body shop put this um, this uh, bed liner material on the bottom. Turned out really nice. Like I said, it's a six liter, so it's got the 5R110 transmission. We put an NV271 behind that. Here's some views of the OBA and underside of the body, the frame, shortened fuel tank, 1350 CV drive shafts, front and rear. It's perfect. Out back, we've got a Sterling 10 and a half with an ox locker, 456 gears. It's got our overload airbags and a uh, single Fox 2.0 res in the back. There you can see the reservoir mounts up there on the cross member. Uh, the exhaust is a four inch diamond eye kit. <clears throat> on these six liters, we don't change the downpipe. We just, from the downpipe back, uh, we adapt it to the four inch and run four inch back. You, it's, I've never seen anybody do a really nice uh, downpipe on a six liter. There's just no room. There's our rear skid system. He still got room to add some stuff to that, but on the front half, we put some uh, Group 31 house batteries that are tied to the factory batteries via a solenoid. A Luminous ladder and a Luminous rear bumper with the deluxe box and the bike rack swing arm. Here's a rear OBA port. Um, a Luminous will say you can't fit a 37 on these, bump on these bumpers, which is true. So we made a few mods, really slight mods. We basically just swapped this plate from one side to the other. And then we added a little spacer here to make up the gap um, once we relocated that. So it fits good, looks really nice. And there's another great view of that Innovate Racing wheel. One of the reasons we went with the 371250 is this van is a slider. So got the slider flare from Bushwhacker and we extended the hinge to, to clear. So look at that. Door fully opens with a 37. It's tight, but if it, it works. Nothing to see on the inside. There's some more hoop steps over here. I think that's it. I'll give another view of the undercarriage. 
super clean van. I think it's going from here to uh, get interior done and maybe a pop top. So the build is not finished, but as far as we're concerned, it is. Thanks for watching. If you don't follow us on social media like Instagram, please do. I post daily shop updates. And um, any questions, leave them in the comments or shoot me an email. Chris at ujointoffroad.com. Also, if um, you're interested in pricing for stuff, check out our website or email me. Have a great day. See you soon.